my wife, Joyce, and I are unfortunately not able to attend this great gathering that you're having today. We apologize for that. Due to unforeseen circumstances and a number of priorities, we are not able to be with you. But let me start by first really congratulating uh, the founder of uh, Every Girl Has Got a Dream, Mrs. Nontlantla Mluli. I'm very proud of you, my baby sister. You've done a sterling job in igniting dreams of thousands of young ladies throughout this nation. Continue the great work that you're doing, and may God bless you. And also, I'd like to acknowledge Tabo Mzuli, who's really supported you, unwavering support behind you, making sure that you succeed. And that's amazing team that you are. And I'd also like to acknowledge all the volunteers and all the partners and all the people who have supported you, including our mom, who's always been with you from your young age. And I really thank everyone, even those that are making this very same event successful. Let me take a few minutes just to give you a mentorship session to the dreamers that are there. How do you convert your dream into reality? I'm gonna give you a four Ds as a kind of a recipe for success. The first D is define your goal. And you must define it in such a way that it is specific. Absolutely clear and specific. Secondly, you can measure it. You will know when you've achieved it or not. Thirdly, it must be achievable. You must be able to say, I have achieved this dream. Fourthly, it must be realistic. It must be something that you know you can achieve. And finally, it must be time bound. It must have a time frame. It must be clear when you're going to complete it. My biggest challenge with lots of dreams is that they just go on and on and have no time frame. That's the first one. The second one is design your strategy. It's so important to know how you're going to achieve the dream and what is it that you will make your dream different from another person's dream? What differentiates you? What differentiates your dream? What makes you to have a competitive advantage? What is it that makes people to come to your dream? In other words, what is your value proposition? And finally, every dream must solve a problem in this world. And what problem is your dream solving? because all of us are called to make this world a better place. Is your dream gonna make this world a better place? The third D that I wanna talk about is determine the resources that you will need. What human resources are you going to need? What financial resources are you gonna need? Have you quantified them? Are you clear in your mind? How much is it going to cost? Have you got a budget for it? How are you going to secure that budget? What team do you require in order to implement? Because a dream without a team will not be able to be implemented. Therefore, it's so important that you understand right up front what are the resources that you're going to need. The final D is declare your standards. In other words, what values are you going to leave with? and you're not prepared to compromise. And let me suggest the first one, integrity, integrity, integrity. Critical value that you should have because without integrity, you're not gonna have sustainable growth. You're not gonna have sustainable success. You may have a quick success, but I promise you, it will come down. The second one is excellence. Whatever you do must be excellent. It must be so excellent that people will desire to have it. And thirdly, if you're producing goods and services, it must be of highest quality. And finally, declare 
that your source of success is God and declare your dependence to God because it is only through Him that you'll be able to succeed. He will give you the energy, the courage, and the ability to succeed through trials and tribulations that you're gonna go through because every dream goes through difficult challenges, but you will succeed. So I really want to wish you all the best and I know you will succeed. And I'm there to cheer you up, to encourage you, and to make sure that you succeed. God bless.